All right, let's get started, shall we? So this is a uh, League of Extraordinary Investigators, Blood on the uh, Blood on the Altar edition, uh, Silas Marsh edition, I guess. Um, let me check everything off for the people who are going to have to score this. Um, I am adding the minus three token from Essex. This is what the token bag looks at the moment. There's the two minus threes. I haven't done anything that would add a token. I've been playing uh, Lawful Good basically the entire time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's the campaign log. Um, and then here's the deck list. We are going for Kiavis. Um, I was testing a couple things or theory crafting a couple of things, but. I think a, uh, a constant um, boost to my skills will help um, make the deck a little bit more consistent, although the deck has been really consistent so far, so I don't know. Um, still, it would be nice to have a, a strong base willpower and investigate skill for once. Um, let's go ahead. I have a skull value counter now because the skull is pretty uh, um, changes a lot. Um, let's go ahead and randomize the locations in the encounter deck. Speaking of the encounter deck, uh, here's the Obanian Gang um, encounter set. Otherwise, there's the rest of the cards. You need to remember that Servant of Many Mouths has Retaliate. Um, messed that up in train in uh, practice. So we are going to figure out our locations here. All right, so I'll just shuffle these up and remove this, remove that, remove that. Okay. And then we are going to group these up. If I can find the group button, where is the group button? There it is. My goodness. I'm just going to zoom all the way out to randomize which location we don't get. And just hit the R button a bunch of times and do that. So we don't have the burned ruins in this version of the scenario. Um, that's all right. The most clues are on the burned ruins, so that's a good thing. But I'd rather have this schoolhouse gone. Um... Then we are going to shuffle the encounter deck, grab our three cards here to go underneath the locations, along with the hidden chamber and the key of the chamber. Group all that up. Accidentally uh, switch to a Dutch angle there. Okay, shuffle that up. Let's get the... Uh, so we don't have the burn ruins. Remove that, as you can see. Let's uh, put everything down here. So Bishop's Brook is the only one in the bottom. Um, it goes right there. Put an encounter card underneath it. We will grab the church. Let's see. Church is on the right or the left. Directions, what are they? Okay, like so. Um, let's see, where's the store? The store is on the right. Got another encounter card. Um, House in the Reeds is north, um, northwest. And the schoolhouse is right here. Definitely didn't want to see the schoolhouse, but that's okay. 
Um, let's hook this over. Let's go ahead and shuffle up. Never did figure out my mulligan, so that's smart. Let's see what we got. Um, well, we don't have that. So, we got that card. That's a good card. I don't necessarily need Meat Cleaver in the beginning. I'd rather get Fire Axe. Although, Meat Cleaver does power up the key. Um, which is really tempting. I can always just um, fight without it. Without empowering it, if I take too much on Kiwis. I've never played with Meat Cleaver Kiwis before. Uh, we're definitely going to throw back over power. And we need to get investigating done. So I'm going to keep perception and keep inquiring mine and draw two cards. And I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we'll see. Oh, we got newspaper as well. Um, did we draw too many cards? We drew too many cards. Oops. Yeah, we kept all of that and we tossed one back, so. Um, oh, let's throw that in the air for no reason. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm live really, really fast, and then we'll get started. Um, yeah, looks like we're live. So, first action. Probably... Resource, meat cleaver, kiwis. I can go really, um, I can go really slow. Thank you, Pure Flight. Alright, I don't know if this is smart or not, but I'm way too, uh, I underrate the meat cleaver, so. Whatever. Upkeep, we will draw... Cambria. Uh, that's direct tour, so <laughs> I can't um, I can't keep these that. I'm just gonna shuffle this a couple times just to make sure. Um, let's actually use our cameras. Mobster, how convenient. All right. Um, well, let's fight. And I'll empower the, uh, the meat cleaver. That makes me, gives me plus one, so I'm a five against two. Okay, minus two. So it's dead, and um, I'm just going to get rid of that. I think uh, that too much bad could happen with that card, so I need to get rid of it. So that's another quick turn. Hello. Um, doom and turn. Kidnapped. Okay. So discard, so take two damage and discard kidnapped instead. I'm not going to be avoiding playing allies, but obviously I don't have any allies, so it's just naturally like that. I have um, willpower of three at the moment. I don't want to get rid of anything, so we're going to test agility <laughs> instead. Uh, so I'm agility five. I'm plus one on this. Okay, that's ridiculous. I don't have any skill cards to take back, unfortunately, but... I shouldn't complain. Um, now's the time to remember what location has the most clues on it. Um, I don't remember any other than the uh, the burn ruins that we don't have. So I guess I'll just go in this jolly circle here. Um, that has two clues. That's nice. So... I'm going to do this, 
I'm going to grab some clues. That was my first move. So I cannot have other investigators enter the brook. And if there's no clues here, I can draw the encounter card. But I don't think I'm going to do that because apparently that's the meta. Um, let's go ahead and go for this. Actually, we're going to play newspaper first. So now we'll investigate. I'm a 2, I'm a 4, I'm a 5 against 3. And we're going to use perception to get higher. So I'm a 7 against 3. Okay, let's take that back. Grab the two clues, and now newspaper is useless. That's probably okay. So, delete both of those. That's our turn. Guts is nice. Doom turn. Test agility for if you fail, take damage in a horror, then disengage from each night gaunt enemy, engage with you, and move to a central location. So I'm plus one. Okay, minus two, so I fail that. I take damage. And I take a horror. And then I have to go to a central location. which is precisely this. wonder why they didn't just say move to village commons, but whatever. Um, I would have needed to move anyway, so that's not a big deal. I don't want to have a million damage on me, of course, because of Psycho Pomp's song. Um, so I am in reasonable danger of just getting killed in this scenario. Um, so we're going here. Um, Osborne's general store. It's going to... Uh, Copy that over. All right, what are we looking at? Three shroud. I can spend a resource to look the top three cards for an item. Um, as slow as this um, scenario is, I don't think that's a good idea. And then we will draw. The, we can draw the encounter card. I'm gonna make sure I didn't screw up any rules. Ah, uh, that's good to know. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get this investigated. I am even without anything, so we will add inquiring mine to be plus three. Okay, skulls minus one. I am forch. No, I'm I'm better than that. I'm plus. I'm a four with KVs. so I don't need inquiring mine. I should. Calculate this actually. Four. So seven um, minus one, and then if I take back, yeah, I can I can take back inquiring mine. That's good. So we'll do this. We will get rid of that. I moved. I investigated, and I'm gonna need to move again. Um, I think no. I, don't know. I was thinking to put in a marker on the places I've investigated, but I think we're okay. As long as if I go to a location and I leave it, I put the clues on there so I know. Alright, it's uh, time to see how mean the schoolhouse is going to be to me today. There's a really nasty version of the schoolhouse, and then there's a slightly less nasty version of the schoolhouse. Um, this is the nastier version of the schoolhouse. Fortunately, I'm going to have some help with uh, QVs and Dark Horse uh, next turn. So that's something. So yeah, 
no skill cards to skill tests. Um, let's go ahead and uh, upkeep now. That's a good card. Doom and turn. Okay, another mobster. This is when things get a little dangerous. Um, I don't think powering up Key of East to three is super good. I don't have any sources of soak. So, unfortunately, I have to kill this guy normally uh, without the empowering the cleaver to do damage. This scenario is super slow, so I'm not too worried about that. I am 4, 5, 6 against 2, so I'm plus 4. Okay, 1 damage. It's minus 2, so that kills him. And then we will play Dark Horse. It's our last action. Go ahead and uh, draw a card. Okay, it's a good card. I will not take a resource. Do turn. I'm going super slow. It feels like, but this scenario is super slow. I think everything seems slow after you play the train. So, kidnapped. Okay. We are a four, five, six, seven against four. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly I don't need skill cards. Um, I just want fire axe now. Anyway. Okay, I'm a four, five, six, seven. That's nice. Go investigating. I am a two, three, four, five against four. Plus one. Um, if the world hates me, I'm going to start drawing cultists. All right, that's good. I care way too much about one in sixteen chances. But yeah, we're five, five, seven, seven. We're the opposite of Calvin. Um, let's go ahead and move. Um, let me copy that. Uh, get rid of this. That was our second move. House in the reeds. I cannot play events. Gosh darn it, what am I going to do? Um, I may too. I might as well just play perception. I'm saving quick thinking for the boss, of course. Um, Summa two, four with Kiwis, five with Dark Horse, seven with perception against two. Um, sure. Okay, take that back. Although card draw wouldn't be a terrible thing, but I can do that later. Yeah, there's a there's a reason they uh, put that on the taboo list. <laughs> um, let's uh, upkeep. It's all right, and we are not gonna roll over. So, if there are three or more potential sacrifices, choose one of them at random, place them underneath the agenda deck without looking at it. Um, here's my potential sacrifices. I uh, have uh, Armitage, Armitage, and uh, Morgan, so. I don't get to look at it, right? Yep. So, we got that going for us. Drop card. 
Sure, why not? In practice, I kept getting ancient evils underneath the uh, location guards. Why did I add a turn? Okay. Talking too much. Um, let's go to church. We have one clue. We can choose and discard a card from our hand to deactivate Dark Horse. I don't really feel like that. All we've done is move so far. And then um, almost feel like doing this um, skill check it um, with no skill cards because I'm going to start drawing. Um, Trying bad cards in, but I think I'm overthinking it. Then display perception in case we get in case we need it. Okay, skulls minus one. Um, am I done investigating? Sure am. Okay. Do I want to let perception just go for the card draw? I think I do because I don't have fire axe yet. I don't even know. Um, let's uh, see what's underneath here. And I like how it does that. <sighs> Kidnapped. There's the other one. Test agility 4. Um, again, I'm plus 2. I haven't used my... Um, I haven't used my ability yet, so we will use that now. So, I mean, four, um, six with key, seven with dark horse, nine with uh, unexpected courage. Okay, take that back. And skull is now minus two. Not him, not a zero. Skull's not a minus two. I'm going to put a horror on this so I r at least remember that I've looked. <laughs> and we're going to go here. And that's going to be our turn. <laughs> Why does it keep happening? Um, yeah, I've never heard of that strategy before. Um, what I learned from... Uh, the practice I did have with this scenario is that it's super slow. You can you can get away with having multiple quote unquote setup turns. You can get away with failing tests. You have so much time. Um, I'm gonna draw. Uh, let's go to upkeep. Okay, I deserve that. And take a resource. Turn doom. Test, um, okay, test three, intellect, uh, I need to get rid of this card, I did, yeah, I, I investigated that, anyway, um, test intellect three, we fail at a clue, I have a score four, I could, there's no clue on here, so I can't use, so Inquiring Mind is useless now, unfortunately. Um, I'm deciding if I want to actually care about this test to get rid of Dreams of the Deep, but I should be getting more tests. Uh, I'm at a pretty good amount of damage, too. And we just drew all of the kidnaps, so if I actually draw an ally, I can, uh, I can put some Horror Soak down at least. So I guess I'll just take this at plus one. And that's a minus two. So I had a clue. 
Oh, but I haven't I haven't looked under this card. <laughs> Whoops. That's actually that's actually okay. Because now I have an excuse to use um, Inquiring Mind. Okay, that's kind of funny. So I'm going to investigate. I'm a 4. The first thing I'm going to do is play the Fire Axe. Um, yeah, well, that's, this is super useless. So I'm not going to restore Silas Bishop. I don't have a chance in heck to do that. So first... First we'll play Fire Axe. Maybe we can use uh, Meat Cleaver to heal up sometime. Uh, second thing I'm going to do is research. Investigate. I don't know why I keep saying research. What the heck. Um, it's a 2. I'm a 2. 4 with the key. 5 with Dark Horse. 3 with Dreams of the Deep. Six with inquiring mind. Okay. So I have to commit inquiring mind. Um, I think. Yeah. I will commit inquiring mind and then I will uh, get the clue and lose James of the Deep. So that's good. And then we're going to look. Hey, that's good. Put that there. Let's me go into the chamber. And then my last move will go to the school. Um, I could... I can use a fast action right now, right? During the upkeep phase, look at the card. Do I want to do that? Um, probably. That was that was stupid. That was silly. I don't know why that. <laughs> it's the luck. Um, so upkeep phase, I'll look at the I'll look at the card. Um, I don't know. I can do next turn. Just as there going to be any um, particular encounter card, which would mess that up. And the answer is yes, I could get that encounter card we just got that put a clue on it. And I don't want a clue on the schoolhouse. So during my upkeep phase, I'm going to look at this. Yeah, I have a player window. That's right, right? I'm not messing something up. Okay, sweet. Hello. Oh, but I still do the spawn rolls, right? So I can just throw them here and forget about them. Yeah, it's drawn like a real, like a real encounter card. No, it's drawn like an actual encounter card. So I think I'm doing that right. I can, I can do this. Let's add one to the skull. Um. I've checked these locations so far. Skull's now a minus three. And um, now we get to do the rest of upkeep. Don't need that. Uh, doom turn. Whipper will. I have so much time, I think I'm going to actually kill Whippoorwill today. Um, I don't know, my skill rolls are so freaking high that Whippoorwill may not even matter. Um, I have plenty of uh, guts protection here. So, I'm... As many turns as I'm ahead right now of tempo, I'm just going to keep moving, I think. So we do that. I didn't take resources. Okay. Lovely. And we'll move here. 
Let's get Stone Hunter. Second move. Huzzah. Okay. Um, I need to be in the hidden chamber to advance. And that would be a bad idea because I don't want to take damage and horror. So I'll use my last action to draw a card. Um, yeah, both of my weaknesses are in here, so there's no reason not to. And uh, upkeep, or enemy phase. But Will goes here. Sure, we'll do it like that. Oh, and Skull goes to minus four, I think. Yeah, because everything's exposed now. And um, yeah, wish I was Jim. Oh well. Okay, enemy phase. Upkeep phase. I drew that during my turn, so I have an upkeep draw. All right, that's a good card. Oh, um, no, nah, I, I skipped over. I should have taken a resource here for Fire Axe. Oh, well, eh, it's my fault. I'm not going to take Seabaxies. Uh, this is Surge, right? Yep. Unless uh, you're part of a gang. Nope. Wait. Yeah, you know. All right, that's fine. I wonder what the math is on uh, evading that guy. I'm not going to do it, but just wondering what the math would be. Anyway, let's uh let's hit this thing. Um, we're plus. We're four, five, six, seven. Against three, there's basically no reason to play a skill card. Unless I want to grab an extra turn with quick thinking, but that's, uh, that's for Silas. Two damage. Okay, it's dead. Um, I think I'm going to keep drawing cards. Yeah, I'm going to keep drawing cards, I think. It would be nice to get a get an ally. I don't know if I have time to get an ally, but... Or do I want to move once to... Um, so I can ignore the Whippoorwill? Uh, I think that's a bad move. Um, what is... Silence has three fight, so I'm naturally... A four, five, six, seven. I'm a seven right now. Oh, so I can be plus four without any cards. So, and I have plenty of cards, so never mind. We will just draw a card then for our last action and uh, let Whipper Will in on the party, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, do we take a resource? First, need a um, draw for a peep, right? Uh, did I draw for upkeep? Usually, I don't use this whole mythos thing. And usually, I don't draw for the last card of my turn. Um. I think I drew overpower with my action and quick thinking with my upkeep. Um, I'd rather miss a draw than take an extra draw, considering I'm, I'm more or less set up. Um, do I want to use Fire Axe? Um, Fire Axe lets me be plus five. And, uh, no, plus, yeah. Fire Axe is good with quick thinking, so we're going to take our resource for upkeep. And uh, and move on. Um, so I have to flip this over again, unfortunately. 
One more potential sacrifice goes in the pile. And then we get to, uh, we got seven turns left. That's not the, not the card I want. And increase difficulty by one, so it's three. Uh, that's why we have guts. Could use nautical prowess, I guess, but um, four. Uh, so I'm a two, four, five, six, seven. No, six. Dark horse is not online. So two, three, four, five, five, six against three. I'm going to use this instead, I think. So two, four for the moment, five, six against three. Okay, I passed that. Um, I will let this commit and draw a card off of it. This goes away. Let's um get to the actual winning part. <laughs> um, okay, so we flip this over. We get to move all clues in play to the chamber. And we get this guy. And we just need to uh, either smash Bishop with the uh, fire axe or uh, discover all the clues, which, yeah, that's pretty much impossible. Um, let's go ahead and fight this guy. I am... Does he have retaliate? Okay, he doesn't, so that's good. Um, I will fight, use fire axe, so that gives me two immediately, plus my four, plus two from Key of East, plus one from Dark Horse. Uh, let's commit Stunning Blow 10. Um, actually, okay, this is getting committed, of course. And I think I'm going to commit. Um, so I want to win this by two, obviously. Um, eight minus four would be four, and that wouldn't be good enough. So I want one more symbol. So let's commit Stunning Blow, too. So I'm an 11. And I moved, so this is my fight action. I probably deserve that. Let's take back, um, do I need to move away? That's a question. Um, let's take back quick thinking. Lose stunning blow. And, well, I lost stunning blow, which means I'm kind of committing to moving away. Keeps Whippoorwill there. I can just I can just hop back in and and do the same thing. So yeah, that's like ultra careful, but um, might as well be ultra careful. Where key visa is, I can't take two horror. Well, I can take one horror, I guess, and put it on here. But um, why? <laughs> So he's back here. Uh, Whippoorwill is at my location, so he's not going to go anywhere. Draw a card, grab a resource for um, Fire X. Turn Doom. Card is a Rotting Remains. Okay, Guts. 
So I'm a two, three, four, five, six against three. Um, I don't have to put it all on here, obviously. So I'll be plus. Plus three is good, right? Plus three is five, six, seven out of 16. Five, no, five, 10, 12 out of 16. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not boned if this hits. So I'll be plus three. Okay, that's good. I'll do that. And we can use that in the chamber, which is cool. Okay, move. Fight. Commit requiring mind and quick thinking. So, in fire axe. Okay, fire axe. Dark horse. QVs. Quick thinking, acquiring mind. Okay, good. So I deal two damage to him. Quick thinking goes off. And we will use that to uh, fight again. I will use quick thinking. And we'll use overpower. So, Givis, Dark Horse, um, Givis, Dark Horse, Quick Thinking, Overpower. Um, can I use Courage? No, let's just do it like that. Okay. Um, then we can take back overpower and still win by two. So quick thinking goes. I get a free turn. Bishop takes two more damage. Let's fight. I will commit unexpected courage. Four, Unexpected Courage, QBs, Dark Horse. Okay, that's game. So, um, let's read all this fun stuff. Do not have the Necronomicon, otherwise, so R3. Okay, under sacrifice two. Okay, first of all, we banished. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Sorry. So we have banished Silas Bishop. We have sacrificed Rice and Earl Sawyer. Unfortunately, um, we get victory two and two bonus experience for gaining insight into the hidden world. So let's go over here. And that would be Warren Rice and Earl Sawyer. And I will uh, see you guys next time. R1? Is it? Oh, R1. Whoops. Good catch. So we put him out of his misery. We still lose the same guys. We still get two bonus experience. Um... We just we put him out of his misery instead of banishing him. How do you get R3 then? Um, let's 
some Silas on Silas crime. That's my terrible joke. All right, well, that's it. That was uh, that was stupidly lucky. Um, although in practice, it seems like Silas is gonna probably win no matter what. But anyway, I'm big stupid grin. <laughs> See you guys next time.